country could soon be visited by President Donald Trump later this week. Still no official confirmation, though. But News 2's Libba Holland is following reports that the president may, in fact, stop by Boeing, South Carolina, Friday. Libba is in North Charleston to explain more about what she found out from Boeing officials. And Libba, it sounds like they are being pretty tight-lipped about the president's visit. Carolyn, Brendan, Boeing officials say no comment to a potential presidential visit on Friday. But what we do have is a tweet from a CNN aviation correspondent saying that President Trump will visit Boeing's South Carolina plant on Friday. Also, what we found is the Federal Aviation Administration has put out a VIP advisory to pilots for potential VIP air presence on Friday. I mean, you can only imagine one thing, that somebody really big is coming. Political radio talk show host Charlie James says signs are pointing President Trump south to the low country. Doesn't get bigger than Donald Trump. Our new governor, Henry McMaster, a big Trump supporter during his campaign. Plus the planned unveiling of the new 787-10 Dreamliner, the first made completely in North Charleston. You know, everybody's putting it all together, so I think this could be the worst kept secret in in Washington, D.C. I believe he's going to be standing by Henry McMaster and uh, giving a, a, a big a pep rally, so to speak, for the folks out at Boeing. A pep rally would be kind of a different tune from just two months ago when the then president elect criticized Boeing on Twitter and on air for giving the new Air Force Ones a big price tag. I don't need a $4.2 billion airplane to fly around in. And a lot of people really don't, uh, they're, they're not used to a president standing up and saying, listen, we're, good, we're going to negotiate a better deal. And I think that's what he did with Boeing. President Trump met with the Boeing leaders to do just that, negotiate. Uh, we made some great progress on simplifying requirements for Air Force One. Possibly smoothing out a path for President Trump's visit. Now, at once again, we have no comment from Boeing. Also, we reached out to the White House that says that President Trump's uh, schedule is not put out for the next week yet. But if anything is confirmed, we will certainly bring it to you on air and online on countonto.com. For now, though, live in North Charleston, Libba Holland, News 2.